completely missed the bit. Well, in the last video, I turned a big rectangular lump of wood into this. I'm done with this for a while. Um, I need a neck. So, let's put that to one side. And get this. Now again, I have cheated. I used the planer from my day job and I've made sure that this is perfectly square and flat. And there's no twist. It's also quite a nice lightly flamed piece of uh, roasted maple. I could probably quite comfortably just cut a one piece neck out of this. But where's the fun in that? So I'm gonna upset quite a lot of people that think that a one piece roasted maple neck is the best thing ever. I agree it's nice, but I like something a bit more, just more. There are very few times I agree with Ingrid Malmsteen, this is one. So I'm going to cut a three piece neck for this. I will cut this down the length and I'll flip the two sides up and match the grain so that it's nice and even. And then. <clears throat> I will take this big old chunk of paduk and I'm going to cut a tapered wedge from this which I'm going to laminate in the middle of here and then I'm going to use some black veneer and double thickness maple veneer like I did on the body and I'm going to put a little laminate between these just for the, uh, the pinstripe effect. And I think that'll work. It should tie it all together nicely. I'll have a bit of red because red on a neck is good. Everyone knows that red ones go faster. So I need to go clear off my table saw which as usual has become a bit of a dumping ground. So directly underneath my camera which is usually sat on the table saw is quite a big pile of crap. I'm going to get rid of all of that and then I'm going to do a kind of seamless transition where I walk that way with this and you'll never know the pile of crap was there or at least that was the plan I had an absolutely stunning shot lined up and it was a seamless transition, all the mess disappeared I got up, I walked to the table saw I put wood through the table saw I set up my tapering jig and I got a nice cut on there and then I came back over here and everything between there, well everything between getting up from here and then sitting back down here um, disappeared because the power cable on my camera decided it wasn't going to work. So if you want to see me doing a neck like this up to this point you might have to go and watch a different video I did a very similar thing with Svalin for the first great guitar build off so have a look for that one that's quite a good, a good one that explains how this jig works and makes up for me being slightly inept there also my brand new glasses have had their first kind of baptism of dust it's a slightly new prescription, it's a little bit odd. Everything's in focus, but weird. I'm quite enjoying it. So I need to take this wedge off here. This demonstrates just how strong the masking tape and super glue trick is. I need to take this wedge off here, and that's all I've used to attach it. a nice straight taper. Or of your weird perspective. 
So I obviously need to plane this face down nice and smooth. It's got saw marks on it. So looking at the grain of this, I followed the slight angled grain when I was doing the cut. So I made sure that it runs as straight as possible up here. And it's almost perfectly flat across the middle of this. So the grain with the neck will be flat and then taper out towards the sides of the neck. Obviously the laminates between that, every, every glue join and every different laminate will help spread the stresses and any desire that the wood might have to move. The glue joints themselves, it's kind of widely accepted that the glue is stronger than the wood itself, so a multi-laminate neck is expected to be more stable and stronger long term than a one piece neck. I also think they look really cool so as long as it works I don't care whether it's more stable or not it just looks pretty. That's a lie I do care but I want it to look pretty as well. So I'm going to clamp this onto my bench I might use masking tape and super glue again just to kind of hold it solid but I'll also use bench dogs and my bench vise here just to hold it in place and then I shall get this nice and flat with my plane. It might be a good opportunity to use the number 8. I like my number 8. It's unnecessarily large. I can hear those jokes from here, by the way, Scott. really need to do now is cut the veneers that are going to go between here. So I will start with the maple because it's here. And I started out with so much veneer. Oh well. <clears throat> that did not go at all to plan. I'm going to have a tidy up and then I'm going to come back and sort this out. Well it would appear that I've got everything tidied and prepared, ready to glue these laminates together. I've got a known flat piece of furniture board. I believe this came from my kitchen. There were spare, bar spare parts. It's a bit like one of those IKEA kits where you get to the end and there's a couple of nuts and bolts and then you wonder what they're for and if they should be there. 
and you're never quite sure whether the chest of drawers or the wardrobe you've built is just going to collapse because you've missed out a couple of parts. There were quite a lot of bits left over at the end of building my kitchen, but it lasted nearly 10 years now. Wow, yeah. It's held up quite well, so I'm sure we're fine. So I've got this. I need to stop going off on tangents. I've got this known flat surface. I put some masking tape on it so that I don't glue my neck blank to the known flat surface. I'm going to stop saying known flat surface because you do. You guys don't know it. His name's Brian. I'm now going to stick some glue all over these pieces of wood and then I'm going to stick the pieces of wood together and then I'm going to stick a load of clamps on the pieces of wood and make them stick together. And it's been scientifically proven that there is no such thing as too many clamps. I'm not sure which institute did the research, but I agree with them entirely. I need more clamps. So for now, I am going to work one at a time and glue things together. Although the one thing that I have forgotten to do is give this veneer a quick key up with some sandpaper, which I do like to do. I've also got a fairly sizable splinter stuck in my hand. I've only just noticed that. Ooh, Paduk. Paduk splinters sting. Where the hell was I? <clears throat> Let's go back. Time to glue. 